examples of group theory is going on and today the groups of matrices is here okay so in the previous lecture we have discussed that group of matrices with addition as the binary operation but here in this video we will discuss group of matrices z l 2 q what does this mean this means general linear groups general linear group of order 2 of order 2 by 2 with rationals as its entries means what 2 by 2 means uh, 2 rows 2 columns are given in the matrix and the entries are rational number okay so this is your non-empty set z all right and the binary operation binary operation is matrix multiplication all right and so matrix multiplication is the binary operation then you have to verify question is verify zl 2q with respect to multiplication this is an algebraic structure a group okay and is it abelian okay so two questions are here in this so i know zl2q which is what if you will write this as the set then how would you write this zl2q is of this form a b c d such that a b c d belongs to q all right and certainly a d minus b c should not be equals to zero okay a d minus b c a d minus b c should not be equals to zero this is also the case because if it would be zero then it will be difficult to find the inverse of this it will be impossible and that in that case it is not going to be uh, to find it is not going to be possible to find the inverse of that so in the definition of zl2q this means what set of the matrices of this kind okay whose elements are from rationals and ad minus bc is not going to be zero all right so if we will collect all these two by two matrices then we have to verify whether this is going to be a group or not so certainly closer law So for cro closer law, take any A is equals to anything else, P, Q, R, S and B is equals to anything, T, U, V, W. Okay, and take this from Z, L, 2, Q. What does this mean? This means P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, all these are rationals. And 2 means what? 2 by 2 matrices. Then if you will find A, B, then you will get what? You will certainly get, okay? You have to multiply with this. So, uh, P, T plus Q, V. Alright? And P, U plus q w and again rt 
प्लस एस वी एंड आर यू प्लस एस डब्ल्यू ओके मैट्रिक्स मल्टीप्लीकेशन सिंपल मैट्रिक्स मल्टीप्लीकेशन एंड यू नो द मल्टीप्लीकेशन ऑफ टू रेशनल्स इज अगेन गोइंग टू बी रेशनल द एडिशन ऑफ टू रेशनल्स इज अगेन गोइंग टू बी रेशनल सो दिस इज रेशनल दिस इज रेशनल दिस इज रेशनल एंड दिस इज रेशनल एंड देर फोर वी कैन से वाट दिस बिलोंग्स टू जी एल टू क्यू वाई बिकॉज दिस इज अ टू बाई टू मैट्रिक्स एंड हुज एंट्रीज आर रेशनल्स देर फोर सर्टनली दिस ए बी बिलोंग्स टू जी एल टू क्यू एंड देर फोर क्लोजर होल्ड्स गुड All right. Any problem? Not at all. So closure holds good. Now, let us move for another one. <coughs> Associativity, which is quite clear. Yes, because rational follows associativity. So for associativity. you can take what take any three a b c belongs to g l 2 q then certainly what will you get you will get what a dot b dot c is equals to a dot b dot c all right so it follows associativity you can take any two by two matrices named a another 2 by 2 matrix with name b another 2 by 2 with c and if you will first get b into c and then you will multiply with a or if you will first get a into b and then multiply with c then you will get the same thing therefore yes it follows associativity no problem at all all right now existence of identity the third is what existence of identity third rule is what existence of identity so for the existence of identity you know that 1 0 0 1 belongs to which z l 2 q this belongs to z l 2 q such that and call it zero element so call it zero or zero our identity can be represented as e also so we call it e such that for any a which is what a for any p q r s or you can take a b c d as well uh, belongs to z l 2 q we get uh a into e is equals to e into a is equals to a you can verify by multiplying this two and then you will get this thing hence e is identity hence e is identity so existence of identity is well defined here no problem at all all right so existence of identity is okay now existence of inverse the fourth one is what existence of inverse all right so for the existence of inverse take any a is equals to a b c d belongs to z l to q okay all right then is this a non singular yes then determinant of a is equals to what ad minus bc which is not equals to 0 as gl2q is defined like this 
therefore uh, this is not equals to 0 all right therefore inverse of a a exists and inverse of a is what inverse of a is that is a inverse is what it is joint of a upon determinant of a and for two by two matrices <laughs> you are aware you know the fact that you need what to do to get the adjoint you just replace these two means replace a by d and d by a and just change the sign of this and this place so here is plus b so write it minus b here is my plus c so write it minus c so this is the adjoint of a because adjoint of a is what transpose of the cofactor matrix and here we have taken the transpose of the cofactor matrix of a so this is the trick just replace these two elements so d is here a is here we have replaced these two and we have just put uh, we have just changed the sign means if here is plus then make it minus here is plus then make it minus means you have to change the sign of these places and you just have to interchange this main diagonal elements so this is the adjoint of a and determinant of a is what ad minus bc call it k for simplicity we are just writing this expression ad minus bc as k so here in this case are you getting this all right so here in this case it can be written as how d upon k minus b upon k and minus c upon k and a upon k all right and in symbol call it b okay your k is what ad minus bc okay for simplicity we have written here k then what are you getting ab is equals to ba is equals to e hence a and b are inverse of each other all right any problem i think there should not be any problem all right so from here what can you say yes this was the question mark answer is yes zl 2q is a group okay you can change this two by three four five and does not matter uh, any square matrix with rational entries is a group we don't have any problem okay but is this abelian is this abelian the answer is answer is no it is not abelian then again a question arise why and the answer is what a b is not equals to b a in general you know that multiplication of two matrices does not follows commutativity in general therefore this is not going to be an abelian matrix uh, abelian group so this is a group only this is a group but not abelian group so zl 2q with respect to multiplication is a group but not abelian group all right now some questions arises here if you will change this q by z then what happens this means you are just changing the entries will it be a group think and comment if you will change this q by r again will it be a group if you will change this q by complex will it be a group if you will change this q 
by ZP where P is a prime, will it be a group? There are many questions. You have to answer, you have to think, see the books and do comments. Ask the queries with me on my email ID which is given in the description box or in the description box of the channel. All right. One more group is there of this kind. This is called general linear group, but there is SL2Q. This is called a special linear group. Why this is called a special? Is this SL2Q contained in GL2Q? There are some more questions. If you are interested, then ask these doubts. Only then I will make a video on this. Otherwise not. Because if you are not interested very much, then it then uh, you should be interested if you are uh, if you want to do something good in uh, um, your bsc maths or for iit exam and all these things okay so you can follow the books uh, i am going to write the name of the books here okay because if you want to know the answer of all these questions then it will be given in the book named uh, Joseph A. Galleon. Okay. This is the first one, and the second one is Group Theory by Shah and Shankar. This is the awesome book for this purpose, for group theory purpose. Only group theory is given in this Shah and Shankar. But in this Joseph Hegelian, group, ring, field, integral domain, all the things are given beautifully. And one, the third book is Dummy Ten Fute, which is also very nice. Okay, so you can find these answers in these books. However, if you want to uh, want some uh, more video lecture on this uh, groups of matrices then certainly you may comment and i will answer you till then thanks a lot